Hello friends, Jay Todd here on a Zoom meeting with Clarion Gaming because as you know, we are headed toward ICE and IGB London. So with me today is the lovely Naomi. Thank you so much for coming on. I know we do this every year, but it kind of it kind of feels exciting because it's like a, a rite of passage. It's like what we do leading up to the event. So I know very soon we're going to be with friends seeing each other, learning a lot of new things at this significant last London event. How are you, Naomi? I'm really good. Nice to see you. It's You're right. It does feel like when we've done this interview that we know that um, both IGB affiliates and ICE are very, very close, which is exciting. Very exciting. Yeah. You know, this is, this is the last one in London. Uh, for uh for the igb affiliate so it's going to be moving and next year it's going to be in uh in uh barcelona i believe is that correct yes it is okay. so yes we, this is the last one in london so um it's going to be a good uh very busy we're seeing a really high uh attendee pre-registration ratio so far in terms of who signed up the both shows are going to be the biggest or the largest footprint ever um so i think we're definitely going to leave London in a with, with, with a bit of a party a bit of a bang I wouldn't expect anything less from a clarion event uh let me tell you this we were chatting before we started the recording and one thing you said really stuck out to me and, and it reminded me of a song uh mm -hmm. Billy Joel uh famous American composer and singer uh once had a song called it's a matter of trust and you guys were emphasizing the trust factor and how that plays into these events and, and how actually a land-based face-to-face event like uh, IGB Affiliate London is, is a way to not only build relationships, but build the trust in those relationships. Yes, I think that's really true. So when I uh, have been doing a lot of customer research or I speak to customers all the time in the last six, 12 months, one of the things that really stuck out to me was the fact that this industry, if there was one thing that I took away from all of that conversation, you know, those conversations with customers, it's the fact this industry is all about trust. It's all about building relationships and being able to look somebody in the eye and build that relationship both socially and for business, obviously. And I think that during the pandemic, we had obviously digital marketing businesses and any sort of marketing online as a channel uh, did, did quite well. But actually the idea of not being able to meet was really difficult for this sector because we know that's their preferred way of doing business precisely because in order to create that trust-based partnership, often you do need to meet face-to-face. -face. So I think that, I think we've proved that really these shows growing from strength to strength are because people use it very much as a way of creating that quality of partnership. Yeah, you know, and it's not just a, that it is a land-based event where we can build relationships and trust. It's also the only event that is strictly focused on the affiliate marketer, correct? Yes, there isn't another one that focuses on the vertical of iGaming affiliation. And I think that's why the proposition has been so successful, actually, because it very much is focused on affiliates who are coming to meet operator affiliate programs and the only other real categories is tech so tech suppliers emerging tech vendors etc so that is a really pure proposition very intentional to meet to get those groups of people together and i think that yeah it is the only one in the world actually it's it's certainly the only it's certainly the leading one and it's the only one that focuses only on this sector okay you know um you mentioned tech companies there uh and there's always something new at these events that we haven't seen before. I'm understanding that you're you guys are actually focusing on and emphasizing bringing in new tech as well as uh, having sessions on uh, these uh, regulations and uh, compliance issues, which are always at the fore. But actually emphasizing all this emerging technology that is suddenly flooding into our industry. Yes, I mean, there's some really obvious trends that we can see that are taking over the, you know, the global landscape and we need to help customers navigate those trends, whether it's AI and the use of AI 
in affiliation and digital marketing, etc. But also, we are seeing from our research and from our data that there are a lot of people that want to get into this sector. And actually, once they get into the sector, and they understand what the opportunities are within iGaming, that they stay and they produce products that actually, whether it's registration tech or attribution software or payment software or anything that supports successful tracking and data and online delivery of the, that affiliate and that traffic to an operator affiliate program. So the tech side of things is becoming ever more important as we become an even more data driven world and dashboards get even more, um, you know, uh, sort of impressive, et cetera. So really, if you if you think about it, you guys are facilitators with this type of event. You're bringing everything together, and you're. I think you said during our uh, our pre call conversation that uh, you were kind of like uh, the you help things grow. So in reality, you guys are kind of like the fertilizer of the industry, right? We are. That's a good way to put it. We are. We I guess yeah. We facilitate. We facilitate quality connections because I think that this sector is no longer just about volume. It's not about traffic at any cost. It's about quality traffic. So I guess we would deliver quality connections and um, we, we provide the platform, I guess. That's the point. We bring people together and then they are able to network. But also, let's not forget that this sector is quite uh likes a bit of fun it's it's quite relaxed it's um sociable so rather than trying to create an environment that feels stuffy it's actually more about creating lots of different types of networking whether it's formal or actually more informal whether it's drink drinks at the bar or whether it's a business meeting a one-to-one -one meeting whether it's the IGB affiliate awards which is obviously something that really celebrates the the energy and the vibrance and the um, entrepreneurship in this industry all of those things come together to create many different touch points across the few days that we run these events and facilitate that ability to get together and connect face to face in in whatever you choose to sort of do that in in you know wherever you want to do it that's what we do we facilitate but we fertilize connections <laughs> you fertilize connections yeah. all these years all these years, people just told me I was full of shit. You guys. Well, are, there you go. We're fertilized connections. You, you guys are fertilizing. <laughs> I'm just full of shit. Okay. Well, uh, to wrap things up, because we, we don't have much time left. Um, you guys have on your Clarion website, I know a lot of interesting articles leading up to the event that are they, those kind of like uh, preparation for some of the discussions and sessions you're going to have. Yes, and we often, we're very fortunate to bring in speakers from all over the world to talk about areas of expertise that perhaps our audience is so tech savvy and very future facing. And we really need to make sure we bring in new speakers who are at the sort of cutting edge of what they want to talk about, because most of our audience knows a lot about this sector. They are very tech driven. So that's really important to bring in people from outside the market and also to support, continue to support diversity, equity and inclusion to ensure that we have KPIs around things like speakers and ensure, you know, 52% of our speakers this year are female. And that's a, that's a sort of metric we've really looked to focus on. And also to ensure that 40% of our speakers are completely new and haven't actually spoken at any other gaming event to ensure that we have new content out there as well and that we provide something different to some of the other events you know we want to stand out and give people something new understandable and commendable and yeah. if you ever need uh someone to do a session on how to offend a massive amount of people in the shortest amount of time i'll I'm give your you guy. a call i'll give you just a let, call just let you know my my availability is wide open and i only charge uh you know five figures no problem I'll, I'll oh, keep that, that's mind. with the decimal point i'll keep you in mind Exactly. <laughs> Naomi, it's so great to talk to you. I am so looking forward to this event coming up. And uh, London's always a great trip. And uh, this will be the last year that it will be cold while we're there. I know. Unless, I know. Bring your, bring your scarf. Bring yeah, your unless scarf, something drastic happens, like, you know, during the summer. I don't know. But I'm looking forward to seeing London in the summer as well. And, but really looking forward to getting over there and enjoying this great conference. Thanks so much. And I'll see you in a couple of weeks. You're so welcome. I look forward to seeing you. See you soon.